For the last 36 years, Rick and Laura Zinnick had a life in Nevada. But when their son and grandchildren decided to relocate to Oklahoma City, the Zinnicks decided to follow them, putting their four-bedroom house on one-third of an acre up for sale. The decision worked out well. That house sold for $480,000, giving the Zinnicks a windfall. They found a more manageable, one-story home in Oklahoma for $275,000 that was close to their family. And for the first time in their lives, they paid all cash, dodging soaring mortgage rates. This move was meant for us, said Laura Zinnick, 77. I'm so glad we've been able to buy this house later in our life. The Zinnicks aren't alone. Older buyers are prevailing in America's hot housing market. This year, the median age for a repeat buyer, someone who has bought a home before, was 58, according to data released Monday by the National Association of Realtors. That's down just a smidgen from last year's record of 59, but it's up significantly from 36 years old in 1981, when NAR began conducting its survey. Lately, grandparents have been edging out younger buyers who are struggling to get into the market for the first time. Nowadays, first-time buyers make up 32% of the market, well below an average of 38% since 1981, according to NAR. They're also more likely to be in their mid-30s today, in contrast to their late 20s in the early 1980s. The result is yet another quirk of the post-coronavirus economy and, in particular, a housing market that has proved remarkably strong. As the Federal Reserve hoisted interest rates to 22-year highs, the widespread expectation was that a subsequent spike in mortgage rates would zap buyer demand. But even while the 30-year fixed-rate mortgage approaches 8%, the housing downturn was short-lived. And in the meantime, a new picture is emerging of the buyers who still find a way to get a house. They're older, and because many of them sold a home before buying, they're also wealthier. We are still talking about an incredibly difficult market for first-time buyers to enter, even if there's slightly less competition, said Jessica Lotz, the deputy chief economist at NAR. If there's a multi-offer situation, an all-cash buyer or someone who has a lot of equity is likely to win. And that person is going to be older. There are many reasons. For starters, older buyers are also likely to be selling a house which provides them fresh cash. The typical home seller was 60 years old in 2023, according to NAR, the same as last year. And with so few homes available, sellers often go with the potential buyer making the most attractive offer, be it a large down payment, stellar credit or all cash. There, too, older buyers have a leg up. Jennifer Dodds sees that dynamic in the Houston area where the median sale price has jumped from about $275,000 to $325,000 in the past three years, according to Redfin.